Hi there and welcome to Celeb Hut. You all one more day. One more CB uncovered for a Diddy freak off in light of the fact that Kevin Hart is getting uncovered as Diddy's refined during these gatherings and oddity offs. The roads have been humming these recent days as an ever-increasing number of individuals related to Diddy are getting uncovered for empowering and concealing for himself, and it seems that Mr. Kevin Hart is following up now. The web always remembers, so is Kevin Hart going to get cleared up by Diddy's reco charges? We should stall right down. Okay, you all. So what's resembling Diddy isn't the one in particular who was going down in this ongoing train wreck that he wound up in on the grounds that a portion of his dearest companions and partners are supposedly going down with him. As of now, you all presumably definitely realize that the federal authorities are raising Diddy and his co-schemers upon RICO charges, and this has sent every individual who's at any point been related with Diddy into a condition of significant frenzies, since every one realizes that RICO charges are quite serious. Yet presently, since we learned about this, fans have been tossing out names left and right, hypothesizing about who is going down next, after Diddy and many names have been tossed out, including Jay-Z, Youthful, Miami, Cuba, Gooding Jr., and numerous different names. Yet one name that individuals appear to have disregarded is Kevin Hart. Yet, it appears as though it very well may be down over for him, too, due to a video of him at one of Diddy's gatherings recent. T. Lai reemerged and became famous online, and you all, when I let you know that it's crazy, you all most likely definitely have a lot of familiarity with the things that go down at Diddy's gatherings. So at whatever point somebody discusses Diddy's gatherings, you can wager your last little girl that it will be something on Diddy on the grounds that not exclusively was Kevin a visitor at these gatherings yet the new recordings uncovered that he like was a help at Diddy plan and host the gatherings Kevin Co. me here. We're going to have a challenge. You realize we're going to have a challenge. We're going to get our breath first, because your breath will be smelling at some point, and we're going to go this way and that. Uh, ho, uh, you know, above all else, make sure my mic is on, uh, before I get into the waste, and Diddy, you realize I will recognize him on a unique day. Yet the wild part, pretty much this is that Diddy's child, Justin, was likewise at these gatherings. Hang on where my child. At the light-skinned fella with the great hair, that is only one of them one yell out. The little Diddy needed to definitely better believe it. No doubt, uh, yells out, yells out to Diddy. Children who appear as though him, uh, it's still being ref. Aired to, we don't actually have the foggiest idea what's happening. Come on, man, come on, man. Justin was extremely youthful in these recordings, and from the vibes of them, it doesn't appear as though he was of legitimate age. Yet somehow or another, Diddy thought it was okay to have him at a party like that. You all know? It's no big surprise that Justin was named in Lil Bar's claim and uncovered for purportedly being a spotter for his dad. Did he open this kid to an excessive number of chaotic things? As a kid, it may be past the time to call CPS on him now, yet this party specifically was additional wild since there were bunches of ladies hanging out wherever in the bath, drinking and doing a wide range of stuff. Filthy cash, collection discharge party, last exchange to Paris. It's insane. I chose to switch scenes. I got excessively rushed down there. I'm up here in the hot tub. Uh, doing it official. You understand what I'm talking about. Three Pointers is up here. Ma, it's a fab's up here. You know, when you have a scene like this, you have to carry managers with you. As you see, it's female accommodating. We got a laddie in the female. She's a butt ball. Crude canine. Uh, I'm not bounce. I could hop the tub myself. Uh, you know, once everyone gets out, you realize just me. Yet some way or another, that is, as yet not the dubious part about it since like all daddy parties, things immediately got sus when Kevin and the camera team went into the room and for reasons unknown did he ask Kevin not to get excessively near the bed and he made a no homo joke. This was bizarre in light of the fact that he and Kevin had been all around one another the prior night, yet, some way or another, he was saying no homo. No doubt, it's giving a little sus. Don't, don't sit on the bed around evening time. No homo, no. Don't draw near to the bed. Don't get yet. It's very much like, 
Yo, we need to thank you for facilitating what? Man, it's been a delight. You didn't need to make it happen, and you did no. No. I certainly didn't need to do it. I certainly didn't need to, uh... I'm not getting the bed, first and foremost. Uh... You realize yells out to him. And what he did, I'm about to on the off, Cho. NCE. That we can only... How about we... How about we just put the camera somewhat this way? To make sure we're not... I don't need my shot to even yet taking into account these gay claims that have been following Diddy since the 90s. I don't figure the no homo thing did what he was anticipating that it should do on the grounds that individuals were all over him uncovering him and bringing up how he represents Rudy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Diddy being a DL is anything off base, since I realize the business can be troublesome spot for specialists to reside in their real essence. So if doesn't have a solid sense of reassurance enough to come out the storeroom, I get it. Yet the issue here is that he's been blamed for supposedly exploiting more youthful individuals that he had authority over and was intended to secure. Yet rather he supposedly defrauded them as per reports of many individuals in the business had some all. Arnis of Diddy's exercises with more youthful young men. Yet they didn't say anything and just turned the other eye. Since Diddy is an exceptionally influential man in the business, the last thing they believe should do is cross him anyway. One individual who was eager to call Diddy out on his BS was 50 Cent. Do you all realize that 50 isn't about that BS? 50 has been on Diddy's case since the 90s. And as of now, I believe most would agree that these two men will constantly have hamburgers since 50 isn't willing to forget about the past and he is continuously tossing conceal at Diddy. At first, it was some nasty remarks about Diddy being on the DL, like the time he said that Diddy had attempted to take him shopping, yet he felt so weirded out by it that he called him exposed for being hello. He expressed something to me one time, quite a while in the past, at Chris Lee's wedding, he let me know, take me shopping. I saw him like, what the, what the, what, you simply say, let me move, man, before I do something, you're gonna make me mess up. The wed gracious, that is a decent motion, allowed me. To get out? No, you take me a person anyway. When Didi was gotten some information about this in a meeting, he had one more story to tell, asserting that the explanation he had proposed to take 50 cent shopping was that he felt that 50 required a superior closet and new garments, and he needed to give 50 a redesign, gracious, the shade, and he said you did likewise to him, you requested that he take him shopping, definitely. I thought he wanted some garments, what I'm a pleasant person, what the for, what Rhea. Son, do you why? Hello, yo, I don't have no beat with, with, I don't have the foggiest idea why with Fifth he adores me. I surmise those G fly unit white blenders weren't getting it yet. One thing that he most likely had hardly any familiarity with. 50 Cent at the time is that 5050 is an unrepentant savage. And he kept on hauling Diddy throughout the long term, like the one time he posted a Diddy and Rick Ross appearing as though they were locking lips with the subtitle Something Ain't Correct, which is an E. Zemplary 50 Cent move you all in any event. When 50 Cent was debilitated in his bed, he was unable to oppose tossing shots at Diddy. And once he posted an image of himself in the emergency clinic bed and composed, I could never again help you all soon. You will be generally gay and blissful. You are currently left under the initiative of Pup Daddy report to the closest rainbow. I can't help thinking about why he was in the clinic considering these different charges that have been circumventing. About Diddy attempting to take people out. Yet 50C isn't the one in particular who called Diddy out for getting things done with more youthful men. Since entertainer Orlando Brown additionally asserted that Diddy gave him some gashash. Mouth activity. Yo, Diddy, you gave me the gashash and you gave me the M.U. The music crush better believe it. I mean, you gave me the I love it, you all I love it. Yet Little Child in Orlando Brown is not by all accounts. The only man to whom Diddy's identity is accepted to have gotten things done. On the grounds that right at the actual first spot on the list is Usher, who is broadly accepted to be one of Diddy's earliest casualties, supposedly for quite a while. We as a whole expect that Diddy purportedly began doing unseemly things to Usher when he was to reside with Diddy at 14 years old. Yet as per Diddy himself, 
he had begun resting in a similar bed with Usher when he was only ten years old. Off, goddamn plain. I the express that is my sibling, here from the very beginning, we used to awaken. And I mean, damn respite, yet, like test out. I mean, I mean once upon a time when he was like ten, and I was somewhat more established, his more established sibling, we used to battle about the over-the-iced drops. You understand what I'm talking about before. Stop was designed, you know, yet it's my sibling. For genuine, we used to really wrestle off of the, off of the iced drops since he used to continuously rise. Ian Shine early now, he's one of the richest on the planet. Yo, what the puffed say? No one's going to. Now only for me. P just said, we used to wrestle over the ice pieces and we're streaming experience. That was dumb. Listen, that was dumb. Living it up. Ush, hey, yo. Even Kevin Hart understood what Diddy said was super sus, and Diddy understand that he had fouled up, which is the reason he got Kevin's neck and hurriedly shut the discussion down since he realized that he was beginning to tell on himself yet. That was by all accounts not the only time that Diddy made an oversight when it arrived at this unusual relationship. Subscribe Celeb Hut for more videos.